We know that you have a lot of outstanding kids here at Utica High School, but none quite like the one and only Jack Drolley. Congratulations, you're my breakfast award winner. How are you? How are you? <laughs> it is amazing to meet you. It always looks like you have a lot of fun when you get to go out to a new school, surprise a well-deserving student, and uh, he is no different. Yes, I had so much fun meeting Jack. Uh, these kids are just getting more and more amazing, and my latest winner, his name is Jack Drolling. He's a sophomore honor student at Utica High School with an amazing commitment to community service, leadership, and making a difference. What do you guys think about Jack getting the Bragg Book honor? Does he deserve it? Yes! <laughs> I surprise Jack Drolly and Mrs. Larson's Honors English class, where Jack gets all A's, along with every other class he has ever taken in all his years of school. A straight A student. <laughs> yes, he is. He's, he's really smart. <laughs> but both our kids. Jack's older sister, Annie, has always been a straight A student, too. Jack has been my best friend for eight years. And he has always amazed me. He is the most hardworking and caring person. He does it all on his own with his own motivation. We don't really press him. He's a great kid. He's in multiple advanced classes. He's just such a great friend. Like, he's always there for everyone. He handles his responsibilities very well. Jack formed the Junior Optimist Club in Shelby Township three years ago and leads as president, spearheading numerous community service projects and fundraisers for multiple charities. Well, I've um, like written cards to like the Children's Hospital before and getting to go and like deliver those cards, see the kids' faces. It's really satisfying and nice. Jack also serves on the DARE Advocacy Board and is the only Michigan student who represents the state nationally for the DARE organization. DARE officer Leslie Heisler nominated Jack. He's got a very important job in advising the DARE, DARE America in California and international DARE about, you know, pro program development and implementation. It's a big deal. And one of our projects was to meet with local decision decision makers in our community, so I decided why not um, try to go for the governor. <laughs> he went right to the top. <laughs> he, he skipped everybody and went right to her. And governor Whitmer so impressed. And she ended up offering him a job as a intern. <laughs> Hopefully he gets into politics because mm -hmm. we need a person like him. <laughs> mm. He's strong and he's got good ideas and he's a good person. Mm -hmm. He just excels at everything. It's just He just truly amazes us. Yeah, he's an a, a absolutely phenomenal kid. And you said he got all A's? All A's. He's That's all he's ever gotten. Wow. <laughs> Big thanks also to Jets Pizza because they helped me award him with a gift card. And there you see some local force swag as well. Very cool. Congratulations to Jack. Yes. And I should mention that Governor Whitmer yeah. um, internship offer. She had no idea based on just his maturity that he was only in the 10th grade. Oh. So he's too oh. young for an internship right now, but he is definitely on her radar and he should be on ours too. Yes, absolutely. He's going to do great things. Yeah. We'll be right back. Keep it in.